Yeah, this is um, a very unique bag. <laughs> that is awesome. Wicked, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that. I, I love the yellow. You can tell it's St Andrews. Yeah. So, no, I love it. That is sick. I'm, I'm honoured and privileged to rock this next week. So we've got a project that we want you guys to help us with uh, for next year. So for everyone involved in the game of golf, um, it's probably the most important major championship that there's gonna be uh, in our lifetimes. There's no other event in golf bigger than that. So we wanted to do something extra special with you guys uh, to celebrate that next year. So what we want you guys to do is help us design a bag for the 150th Open next year that we used uh, by our staff players. Have a think about the town, what the town means to you, what the colours are around the town, the sites. Have a think about St Andrews, all the things that are special about it that people come here for. We want them to be colourful, we want them to be bold, we want them to be bright and try and reflect that in your designs. The players at Callaway are going to choose later this year and that will be used at the Open next year. So you'll be able to see that carried down the, the 18th by uh, some of the best players in the world. It's just amazing, it's, a, it's just a huge amount of excitement around the town already and we're still a year out so I think for them to have a chance to design a golf bag um, and have it on one of their heroes um, on their shoulder um, I think is a pretty cool opportunity for them. I can't wait to see what comes back. You know, I'm um, slightly, well, I'm excited. I'm, I'm almost a little bit nervous because it's a huge responsibility to put on them because this is such an important, you know, bag for us. It's such an important tournament. You know, I, I just love the fact that we're giving, you know, a child in St Andrews the opportunity to put their stamp on this, on this tournament in this way. Well, I think this is it for young people to be involved in. I think the levels of excitement, if they manage to see their tour bag on show at the 150th Open, absolutely outstanding but beyond that I think the experience of being involved in the project is a big win for the school and a big win for the young people so really looking forward to it. It's so inclusive that nobody's excluded. Oftentimes any kind of art and design type competition or project can put those who can put them off those who feel like they can't draw or they're not good at art but this is not about drawing it's about ideas and that and everybody has good ideas, especially young people. You know, this creative process, I think, that we are encountering, you know, with golf, um, you know, it's just a great opportunity for our young people to develop their talents. Um, you know, it could even be a, a defining moment in shaping their, you know, career pathway. You know, for, the, for that winning design, it could be life-changing. So, Thanks for coming along. Today's the day. We've got to narrow this down from 20 designs that we've got from the schools, 10 from Madras, 10 from St. Leonard's, down to 10. Let's get down to the final 10. Then we need to get down to six for the players to choose. So um, let's get started. Visually, I think that's really strong. I really like this one because I feel like she nailed the brief. I love the playfulness and the fun that they've had with this one. I don't mind Nessie being there, I think that's quite cool. This one, because she had a good story and it's an amazing design. Plunk this bag in the middle of anywhere, you'd think St Andrews. It's quite a challenge because they're all really good. So we're down to our final six. The team's decided. It's been a long process, um, lots of arguments, but we've ended up with um, six fantastic designs that have absolutely nailed the brief and we're going to put this to some of the best players in the world now and they're going to decide what bag will be used at the 150th Open. Um, well I, I wanted to capture the fact that like when I think of Scotland there's a lot of nature and like the beach and these buildings really stood out to me. And then the golf course, I've got um, some hills here and the quite famous bridge across the golf course. And the Loch Ness Monster feels very Scottish. Parts of St Andrews are very modern, also because I've seen other Callaway bags in the past and I noticed that they're very bright, very bold patterns. So I went for the St Andrews skyline, 
which is really recognisable. Um, so it's got the cathedral, the tower, some of the spires all through the town. When you think of St Andrews, what's the first thing you think of? And I thought of beaches and that's why I chose to do the shells and then that's the castle ruins and then the back was supposed to represent a sunset. Um, so the first, first thing I think of St Andrew is the cathedral and um, the bridge because they're kind of like the landmark of here. Two and five just do it a bit, don't they, in terms of Scotland. I love the logo, This I love this logo here. And I love like the salter up there, but then I love like the side of that bag and it. Every one of them seems to have like embraced the architecture. I don't know, I'm looking at that one. That one stands out to me, but we did use something like that this year. So maybe towards the blue, two and five. But two is just so striking. I like the, the green and the yellow and that sort of stuff. Um, well, so we've got to get three, right? Well, and what, Richie, which one are you saying? I was going to take that one. Yeah. Right? That's the one I like. I mean, I really the like that panel. I really like the left panel there. I would. I'd, I'd honestly. I'd, I'd honestly go in that order as they are. Yeah, me too. One, two, three. We said one, two, three. But can I get that one made up and I'll have it, please? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Sounds like you're changing your mind, Richie. I'm, no, we'll I'm almost one, two, three. We're we're I'm, it. I'm almost leaning now. No, we're one, always two, saying three. that they're, they're always saying yeah. that there are some I'd, good I'd stuff go in one, there. Two, three. I'm also leaning a lot towards I think one, that two, three. Needs to be higher up. So that was a lot of fun. In fact, the discussions and the arguments with the players went on a long time after our cameras finished rolling. But now we have a winner, we have a victor, uh, we have a bag that we're going to make for the 150th Open. So I'm pleased to announce that Iona Turner from St Leonard's School has been chosen as the bag that we're going to produce. So now we're going to send this design over to the US to our designs teams and they're going to work it up into an actual bag that can be used in the Open. So the time has arrived. We have our first sample bag up here in St Andrews. Just so excited to see this for the first time ever. Uh, there's been a lot of work gone in by the design team in the US actually making this into a real life bag. So uh, let's have a look at it. Let's see what it looks like for the first time ever. So. Moment of truth. Wow. I mean, that, that looks absolutely incredible. I'm so pleased that this bag has arrived when it has. Uh, we're gonna go and show this to Iona now. She is over the road in the St Andrews Links headquarters with her parents. Uh, hopefully she's gonna be blown away by the design. I think it looks fantastic and I can't wait to see what she thinks about it. So, Iona, it's real, the bag's here, what do you think? It's, it's amazing, <laughs> it looks, yeah, just absolutely incredible, Yeah. it's so similar to like what I drew. <laughs> yeah, don't you think it's cool as well, you can see on here, you can even see your, your pencil yeah. marks when yeah. you, were, you were drawing it. Um, does it look, you know, did you know what to expect or is it? No, I had no idea what to expect, but it's, it's super cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what about, um, seeing it at the open. Are you looking forward to seeing people actually use it? I'm so excited. I remember um, when I saw this bag for the first time and you know got a chance to really sort of study the artwork and and you know it all the different layers and levels of it whether it's the bagpiper um, which I think came out just beautifully. Just the, the style of the, the fonts and, you know, which is fun and the colors are bright and, and cheery. And I, it's pretty hard to look at this bag and not get a big smile on your face. So I think the tour players are gonna be blown away. Lots of our players had seen them already because they were part of the process, but a huge amount of them will be seeing it for the first time. I, you know, when you see it, it's, um, you know, what is the 150th running of the, of the Open Championship look like at St. Andrews, um, the significance all of, of all of that 
through the eyes of, uh, you know, a, a young artist who grew up there. Um, that sort of gives you goosebumps just thinking about it. Yeah, that's, that is really cool. Yeah. Um, Swilkin Bridge, Chapel. It's certainly un unique and um, you can tell it's St. Andrews. Yeah. Wow. That is unbelievable. That is impressive. Yeah. It's, I think it's amazing that all the bags are going to look that unique too. I mean. Oh, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wicked, isn't it? I mean, that, I love the yellow, but, wow. I mean, what a golf bag. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, very cool. Look at this. Got the Loctus Monster there. That's very cool. 150th, yeah, this is um, a very unique bag. Yeah. That's very special for the week. It'd be a privilege to use it, and um, I'll definitely keep that one in my office when it's, when it's all said and done. I really like it. I really will enjoy this and afterwards you'll look good in the house so <laughs> that is awesome well this will definitely be uh definitely be a bag i keep for a long long time that's for sure yeah. incredible golf bag i don't think uh, anybody's beating that this year that is that is sick i'm i'm honored and privileged to rock this next week yeah i think it's lovely i think it it's fresh it's got beautiful colors in it it's got the Swilkin Bridge, the burn, the skyline. Um, it's got Nessie coming in the burn, which is a bit of creativity. Yeah, I think from a, a visibility point, it's going to be great and, and very well noticed on the golf course. Um, and I think it's very different, which again, St Andrews needs to stand out. And one of the things we like to be is, is different. So I think this bag is very special. It's been so crazy, so surreal, but really amazing. <laughs> they seem to all really, really like it, which was, it was amazing and I love to meet them. I would love to have a career in design and this this opportunity in this Callaway project has really given me the inspiration to kind of go after that a lot more than I had before. So yeah, I'm really thankful.